Hi guys, Sergash is here and in this video I'm gonna tell you about public transport in Bangkok. The traffic in Bangkok is the total mess compared to especially western cities. But the good news is that the traffic jams become more manageable because the public underground system was introduced a couple of years ago. And if you want to ensure that you will get to your destination on time, then I recommend you to use the public transport in Bangkok. Generally, public transport in Bangkok is amazing and it's safe to use with a few exceptions and we will discuss all of it in this video. And before we start this video, please guys hit the like button because your likes fund my trip. I'm on a pretty low budget and I hope that I will get some monetization from the partner program on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel because I'm in Asia for one year and I'm gonna post a lot. For your convenience, I divided this video into few sections traveling by road, by boat, by railway, some means of non-public transportation. One of the favorite means of public transportation among Pankokians is MRT or Metropolitan Rapid Transit. It's like metro or underground or subway, it depends which city you are from. There are two lines on MRT, blue and the purple, and in certain stations you can change from MRT to BTS or the SkyTrain. One of the stations where you can change it is Sukhumvit and that's the station where we're gonna go now. During rush hours, these stations may be busy, but it's still better alternative than just stuck in a traffic jam. When you're at the station, you need to buy the ticket and there are two ways to buy the ticket. One is a self-service machine. The second one is the cashier. I usually buy the cashier because it's easier for me and the cashier speak English, so easy no hassle option in the exchange for your money you will get a token this is your ticket keep it safe for, for the entire length of your travel because you will need to touch in when you enter the underground and touch out when you come out of the station this token costs 31 but but the rate depends on the destination where you're going to depends on the zone the longer journey you taking the more expensive it gets it's very easy to navigate on MRT because there are indicators everywhere. I need to go to platform one and it says there that the Tsukhumvit is the platform one. But if you're still getting lost, then you should approach a member of staff and they will help you. The stations are big in Bangkok Metro and the good thing about them is that they're equipped with air conditioner and this is so important after come out of the heat outside. If you are not very good in remembering the Thai names, each station is actually named by the number and the abbreviation. Wat Makonko or BL29 is the station where I am departing from. The announcements on Bangkok Metro is in two languages, which make it even easier to travel. Station. Station. Please mind the gap and The connecting Sokhumvit station can get so busy that you may end up waiting up to 50 minutes to get on your train but it's still better alternative than to get stuck in the traffic to get on the mrt station you need to buy a token or mrt pass the day pass will cost you 120 pounds and this single journey cost me 31 but the price depends on the distance that you are traveling as mrt and bts run by different companies you can't use mrt pass on bts train you have to come out and get a new pass. MRT lines operate from 6 in the morning until midnight. And don't forget about your token, you will need to come out of the station. Together with MRT, BTS is Bangkokian's favorite mean of public transport. For many residents, this is the quickest way to travel from point A to point B. BTS is an elevated rapid transport system, also known as SkyTrain. It transports up to 650,000 people a day. SkyTrain runs in the sky and we have to go up the sky using the stairs to get to the station. Same as on the MRT station on BTS has abbreviation for your convenience. It starts with either S, N or E and indicates South, North or East easy this time just for a difference i decided to use self-service machine and i need to go to kaya thai and i already forgot the name but i remember and two how much does it cost and how easy to use the service machines it's so easy to use you have an interactive map you just press the button where you need to go 
and then you got your change and you get this card let's go and find the entrance this is so exciting we go even higher on the level three it's amazing you're living on the fifth floor and out of your window we have a view of the bts train bangkok has two different bts lines the green line and the dark green line and they cover the main areas of bangkok bts has been expanded and now you can go even to the urban part of the area. I didn't wait for long and the train has arrived. Let's go inside. This modern rail station is equipped with air conditioning for your comfort and can get you to other part of Bangkok within an hour. In order to access BTS, you need to buy Rabbit SkyTrain card or you can buy a single card. If you plan to use SkyTrain multiple times, you can use a day pass card for 140 baht. For every traveler, BTS is an amazing mean of public transport that allows you to travel in comfort between different parts of Bangkok within a short period of time. It's a good idea to book your hotel next to a BTS station so you can move easily about the city. As the railway systems in Bangkok are limited, taxis is another way to get from point A to point B. You can hail any taxi when the red light sometimes is green in front of their window screen is turned on. Can you press start? Press start how far? Yeah, you yeah, might yeah. have heard some stories about taxi driver scams. You shouldn't worry about it if you follow simple rules. Always ask the driver to use the meter. If they refuse, step out of the car and get another one. When it rains, it's extremely difficult to hail the car. The drivers may increase the price. Avoid using cars during the rush hours. Try to use BTS or MRT instead. It will save you tons of time. Taxi ride can be even cheaper than the BTS if you are traveling in a group of people of three or four. Taxis can be a great way to move around and they are safer than tuk-tuk and motorbikes. Everywhere you look in Bangkok, you will see motorbikes in orange vests. Men on a motorbike in orange vest, they are usually speak Thai and they give a ride to local people from BTS. 20 baht cost me a ride on a motorbike. But I don't recommend you to use this type of transport because the passenger often don't wear a helmet. And without the helmet by some reasons. So I hope I'm gonna get safe to the rooftop bar. Iconic tuk-tuks known by everybody. If you ride one, be prepared to inhale some portion of pollution from the nearby cars. But even so, this is a very fun and very Asian way of traveling. And sometimes tuk-tuk drivers don't have taxi meters. Sometimes they may overcharge so Sometimes be prepared to negotiate. For most travelers, the public buses in Bangkok is not the most popular way of transportation because you have to do some research. You have to find the fare, you have to find the timetable, the schedule and the routes. But we're gonna take one because now we're gonna go to the pier. Couple drop. But it's a fun way to explore the city. It's a cheap way to explore the city. Tickets cost me only eight Thai baht. I'm on the bus now. Not many people around, which is pretty good. There is no aircon, but there is no windows either. The buses are not the most comfortable way of transport, but one of the most fun. They may be unfrequent, old and run down, but they cost only eight Thai baht. If you want a little adventure, I would recommend you to go to one of the buses and explore the local flavors with it. The Google Maps will tell you the route number, the location of the bus stop, estimated time of departure and arrival is super easy to travel with Google Maps nowadays. I don't know where I'm going, but I just want to take a boat and go somewhere. Apparently I can buy a ticket on the boat. So let's wait for the boat and have some fresh air because it's pretty humid in Bangkok. Express bot has arrived. I'm super excited. Chao Praia Riva plays a significant role in Bangkok's life. 15 baht and it's super affordable, I would say. And Riva Express bot, a great way and an interesting way to explore the city and commute from point A to point B. One of the top things to do while you're in Bangkok in terms of transport to take a boat on the Chao Praia River Express. As Bangkok is built across the river, there is a comprehensive boat services you can use. 
There are five different lines in Banco Riva Express services. It's very cheap. And the best line to use for the sightseeing is the blue line. The ticket prices vary depend on the line. I paid 16 times, but, but it can go up to 40 and 150 to take a day pass. Another way of traveling on the river is the ferries is as low as 4 Thai baht per crossing and it will save you some time and energy and also will give you some good mood from the river breeze. But if you want more exclusivity and explore the river by yourself, there is no problem. There are long tail boats, let's say gondolas, who runs across the city. It will cost you about 1,500 Thai baht for an hour long journey. But its capacity is up to 10 people, so you can easily split the fare between your company and here at the end stop of Priva Express bot services I'm finishing this video about public transport in Bangkok my favorite mean of public transport are the bots and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then please hit the like button because it motivates me to film more it also funds my trip and subscribe to my channel I'm gonna travel in Asia a lot and I will publish videos from every single country I'm gonna visit to. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.